Spark drivers, do any of you guys routinely do or even once in a while do uh, customer returns for Walmart? I never do them. I did one or two when I first started doing Spark um, and quickly came to the conclusion that for 10 bucks, it's just a pain in the ass. It's not worth it. Um, I mean, best case scenario, you get $10. And that's if everything goes perfect. Case in point, I got a, um, a return request today and I never take them, but this one, I was already out. I just finished a drop and it popped up and it was like 2.9 miles away. And then the Walmart was back up towards my house anyway. So I was going to be driving over there anyway. And I was also curious, let me know if you know the answer, because as you'll soon find out, I didn't learn the answer to this. When you're actively in a return, once you pick up the package and you're driving to Walmart, does Spark allow you to be available to get um, more jobs, right? Or do you have to clear out that return before the app will make you available to grab the next job? So for instance, if you're driving back to Walmart with your $10 return and they, the, the round robin for the next hour drops, are you able to grab one even, you know, clearly you're going towards the Walmart. I'm, I'm wondering if that return blocks you from the ability to get a, an order, a real order for the next hour. So if you know the answer to that, please let me know. Because what happened to me on this one, first one I've done, like I said, in over a year, drive to the customer's house. There's no package on the porch. Customer doesn't answer the door. I knock on the door. I ring the doorbell. I send a customer a text message through the app. I even call them. Nothing. So I go into the app and it's a problem with the, you know, the delivery. And it says, you know, can't locate customer. I, and I hit, you know, I hit, hit that. And then boom, it just canceled it. So I go, did I get compensated for that? I, I, sh I should get the 10 bucks at least. Of course, it's Walmart. So I know I'm not going to get the 10 bucks, but I'm expecting at least five. And what do I see? I see that much. No pay at all. Call customer support. They said, well, wait 48 hours. And if you don't see, you should be eligible for a show up fee. And if you don't see the show up fee in two days, call us back and we can add it. Oh, good. More work for me on a, again, best case scenario, I was going to get 10 bucks. Now I get to do more work for less. And oh, by the way, uh, can I ask, what is the show up fee? I'm expecting them to say five bucks, right? Cause that, I mean, that would be fair. You did half of it. You didn't have to drive it back to Walmart. Oh, the show up fee is $2.50. Well, don't do me any favors. <laughs> I did half the work. I drove down three miles. Now I got to go back three miles. I'm out six miles plus about five minutes at the house. All in, I spent about 20 minutes on an order that the customer screwed up through no fault of my own. So I'm out 20 minutes and you're going to compensate me $2.50. And, and I know they can't answer this, but I said, why would I ever voluntarily do one of these returns again? I spent 20 minutes of my life and you gave me, you haven't even given me the 250. You're saying I may get 250. And if I don't, then I could spend more of my life and call you back and ask for it. Now, if the 250 doesn't show up in my account, am I going to call customer service and ask them for 250? No, I'm not. You know, I'm going to get a video out of it. It cost me $10 to get a video, but I'm curious. Spark drivers, have you done customer returns? And if you have, do you like doing them? And do you continue to do them? Now, I can see situations where it could make sense if you're really close to where the customer is, you're already out there, and you're going to be heading back towards Walmart anyway. Yeah, I can see the attraction there. Let me just swing by, grab it, make the 10 bucks. So I can see that. But like in this case, I wasted 20 minutes and I got nothing, you know? So I don't know. I, it's just, I don't think I will ever do one again. It's just not, it, it's just a waste of time at best, uh, in my opinion. So, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. And as George Bush says, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't fool me again, you know? Stay safe out there. Just fool me once. Shame on, shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again.